U.S. plan to see Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak leave office immediately is reportedly in the works and would see a transitional government formed by Mubarak's vice president, a former head of Egypt's spy agency, and an alleged CIA point man who facilitated the extraordinary rendition of terrorism suspects. U.S. officials are discussing a plan with Egyptian officials that would see Mubarak quit immediately and hand over power to a transitional government run by Vice President Omar Soleiman, the New York Times reported on Thursday. As spy chief, Soleiman reportedly embraced the CIA's controversial extraordinary rendition program in which terror suspects slashed by the Americans were taken to Egypt and other countries without legal proceedings and and subjected to interrogations. Soleiman has been the leader of Egypt's intelligence directorate for decades and has close ties to the military as well as established ties to the U.S. and Israel. This apparently makes him a suitable choice for the U.S. for an interim leader. As Egypt's intelligence chief, Soleiman was in charge of the country's most important political security files and was the mastermind behind the fragmentation of Islamic groups who led the uprising against the state in the 1990s. Soleiman has privileged contacts with U.S. intelligence and military officials with whom he has now been dealing for at least a quarter of a century. He was the CIA's point man in Egypt for rendition, says Jane Mayer, author of The Dark Side. After taking over as spy director, Soleiman oversaw an agreement with the United States in 1995 that allows for suspected militants to be secretly transferred to Egypt for questioning, according to the book Ghost Plane by journalist Stephen Gray. But while he may be liked and trusted by some in the West, most people in Egypt consider Soleiman part of Mubarak's inner circle and as such a pillar of a corrupt regime.